I spoke briefly with the victim. He did not want to talk about what happened, only saying that he's hopped up on pain pills and has a really bad headache. Carlton police say they've put a name to every face in this picture. Investigators are calling the men in it persons of interest in a brutal bar assault. The fisticuffs went down at the Wolf's Den bar on Monroe Street Saturday a little after midnight. Police say the victim is a 35-year-old Carlton man who suffers from seizures. He was leaving the bar when he accidentally bumped into a man wearing the colors of the Iron Coffins Motorcycle Club. Police say several bikers started yelling at the man and then went after him as he tried to walk away from them. Carlton PD says he was able to fight off one of his attackers and attempted to fend off a second before being overwhelmed by the others who joined in. When it was all said and done, he needed 28 staples to close a head wound he sustained during the beating. The gentleman who's got the stitches is, 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 a, is a really nice kid. Don't cause no problems. He's a good kid. And we don't really know what happened. Mike Wolf owns the bar where the conflict started. The scuffle spilled out onto the sidewalk right by the police station, which is next door to the Wolf's Den. Carlton PD says there were no officers inside the station when the assault happened. All of its officers were out on patrol. It was an isolated incident. You go to any bar anywhere in this country and you're going to have conflict. Police say they were flooded with calls Monday after seeking the public's help identifying the persons of interest in this picture. Now they're working to interview everyone involved. Again, Carlton PD says they're still investigating what happened here and once they're done, they plan on handing this case over to the Monroe County Prosecutor's Office. In Carlton, I'm Randy Wembley and this is The Edge.